So this video is about identifying and explaining the premac principle, behavioral momentum, priming and force choice. Premack principle was developed by David Premack in 1965. It is also known as grandma's rule because this is based on the idea that more probable behaviors can be used to reinforce less probable behavior. So basically a behavior that occurs more frequently can itself be used as a reinforcer for those behavior that are occurring less. Coming towards the example, a teacher tells a student, you can play video games after you finish your homework. So basically the homework is a less preferred activity, but the more preferred activity playing video game is used as a reinforcer for the student to complete his homework. This way he is more likely to complete the work to get access to the preferred activity. Behavioral momentum was developed by Richard A. Nevin in 1974 and it refers to the same to the momentum is in physics and this refers to the tendency for behavior to persist once they are established, much like the inertia of a moving object. This concept suggests that once a person engages in a series of easy tasks, they are more likely to continue and tackle difficult tasks because of the establishing because of the established momentum example a student who successfully answers several easy math problems in a row may feel more confident and continue to solve more difficult problems without hesitation because the behavioral momentum was developed priming the concept of priming has been researched by many cognitive psychologists including John Berg and Terry Earl Chartrand in 1999. Priming refers to the exposure to a stimulus that influences person's response to a subsequent stimulus without the person being consciously aware of it. It occurs when an earlier experience influences how one perceives or responds to a later event. This can be understood by an easy example, a person who reads a list of words related to old age, wrinkle, retirement, gray hair, sub due to the subtle priming of aging due to, due to his exposure to uh, the stimulus of aging, he also unconsciously started walking slowly unconsciously, which means his which means his later event was influenced by an earlier experience or exposure. Force choice is a concept used in many contexts, especially in psychological research. It is a method to limit the choices available to a subject so that a decision is more constrained. So basically a person is given choices, but the choices are forced. Meanwhile, you, are, you have been given some options and you have to and you have to choose from those options. So you have been given a choice, but the choice is forced. Individuals are given a limited set of options and must choose one. It is used in survey or experiments where responses needs to be constrained to ensure clarity and reduce ambiguity. For example, in a survey, participants are asked, which of the following colors do you prefer? Red, blue, green, or yellow. So the participants are forced to choose between these four options. Coming towards the MCQs, who developed the premax principle? David Premack. What does the premax principle suggest? More frequent behaviors can reinforce less frequent behavior. Who conducted research on behavioral momentum? Nevin, Mendel and Attack. What is an example of priming? A person walks more slowly after reading words related to old age. In a forced choice situation, what is the main characteristic? 
participants are given a limited set of options and must choose one this was all about today thank you for watching